after a tough day and a cramped night's sleep in their lightweight tents, people were opening their doors and smiling to find that the rain had gone to be replaced by fantastic sunshine, showing the Lake District in a whole different light. <laughs> and how close together were you in this tent? It, it was very intimate. Small. It's cold. And yesterday and I was very wet. cold. Yes. But um, I, I appear to be game again. In the elite race of the 42 teams that started, only seven would complete the weekend. On Sunday morning, Shane Only and Duncan Archer were the leaders and they were the first to leave. Yeah, it's the hardest elite day I've done, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think the course was hard, but I think the weather clearly course, had a massive impact. And we just Damn. hid in our tents, got our sleeping bag, and I literally shivered <laughs> for like an hour. Steve Birkinshaw and Andy Berry, who are only five minutes behind oh, the team of seconds, so they'll be, they'll be hunting us. In second place was Tom Gibbs and Paul Tierney. Hotly pursuing them in third was Steve Birkinshaw and Andy Berry. On day two, the course is shorter, but with tired legs and tired minds, people of all levels must continue working as a team to make sure they complete this challenge. No matter the experience level or how tough the race is, teamwork is still vital. Obviously for things like navigation, but also for keeping morale up. Yeah, got John does the navigation and I do the uh the distance bit, so all oh, work bar one checkpoint. That's the first one we've missed in yeah, a couple of years of doing this. Shane and Duncan were looking tired at halfway. Would Steve and Andy be able to catch them and move up into first place? Was that guy? Hard work, well earned. Shane and Duncan held on to the lead. Steve and Andy finished in second place. Paul and Tom came in third place. The views today across the Lake District were amazing. Some of the best scenery the UK has to offer. Perfect on condition. Shitty weather yesterday. Great weather today. This is perfect lakes weather. That said, improved visibility means there's a strong temptation to follow other competitors instead of sticking to your own judgment. Beyond's creator, Jerry Charnley, would have been really proud of how the competitors looked after themselves and each other in the hills for two days on this unique mountain race. Final competitors come down off the hills and on draws to a close. The bar is full and a, an exciting weekend of racing and navigating and adventuring in the hills comes to a close. We can be sure that this will be an event that people will remember forever. We've found Alistair from the on, so 50th anniversary event. How's it gone? How does it compare to previous years? Uh, it's been fantastic uh, bringing took all the kind of on community together into one place to celebrate the 50 years, going back to 1968 with Jerry, bringing it through to uh, the event now. Uh, there's been some uh, competitors that retired from on many years ago, have come back for one more bash at it, 
and then we've got some new guys who are doing it for the very first time. Uh, it's really great to see sort of the, the community growing and, and, and moving forward into the future.